guys, it's Crypto Jet. I'm back with another one. So if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified of my latest videos. So this is Drip Vlog number 23, where I highlight what I'm doing currently in the Drip Network ecosystem. And also, guys, before I even begin on this, um, be sure to follow me on Twitter. That's twitter.com slash crypto jetta and on my medium, which is medium.com slash crypto jetta. And before I begin, you know, just highlighting what I'm doing in the drip network ecosystem, I just want to give you a little warning uh, when it comes to making a comment on my medium articles. So, you know, I'm all for constructive criticism when it comes to delays in the drip network ecosystem. But if you just blatantly fudge your comments on my articles, then you're going to just get blocked. My goal is to provide strategies for current products that's out, like the faucet, you know, the garden, animal farm, etc. While I did already make one already for DDD, I don't bitch and moan about something that's out of our power about the launch date for that utility. So guys, just remember, please do not fud under my articles. Uh, so far, I've already made three, well, one, two, three, four articles under my account here. And my shoot, it hasn't been all almost a month now, and I'm already gaining almost 30 followers. And I appreciate it, you know. Like I said, uh, I've made strategies on how to take your garden and pay your bills or fund a virtual debit card using Spritz Finance. I showed you how to use your garden as le leverage for drip drop draw utility and then I also have a drip network full ecosystem blueprint strategy as well so like I said do not FUD under my comments or you're just gonna get blocked and banned from ever reading my articles ever again so please please take note on that so personally I do not always attend the AMAs if I do then it's like for 15 20 minutes tops I do not like sitting through two hours of talking. This is why I praise Wonder Woman for posting uh, AMA notes so that we could just skim through it. Now, if you're trying to access that, you can just normally go to the Telegram uh, here on Drip. And when you go to the chat here, let me scroll all the way down. You just type in slash AMA notes and it will take you to this here this link here that you can go to and it will provide you with everything you need on what was talked about from Forex Sharks on the AMAs that he that he gives out and I'm not going to go through all of this you can just read this yourself but that's how you will access the latest version of the AMA that was released and the newest one that you have available was four days ago on April 6th where he did talk about some interesting updates that's coming like the Fiat on wrap and he has some hopefully some hard dates here coming soon for us guys so let me go ahead and go through and talk about what I'm doing here so if we go to our garden here uh, as of lately, the decay has been kicking everybody behind here. Um, so my garden has over 2.3 billion plants working for me. The overall TVL is around 245k at the time of this, of this video. Let's see, well, it dropped a little, uh, 244,000. But Here's the thing is, however, the price of drip has decreased from 49 cents to 37 cents. Now it's down to 36 cents at the time of this uh, video being made, which I means I will produce less LP each day. The strategy I am employing involves generating at least 10 LP, but I will add fresh capital later this week to counteract this. As you can see, I'm currently making around 9.57 LP per day. So as I said, Forex Sharp will hopefully soon deliver some um, release dates for DDD, which may boost the price of drip. Additionally, he has plans to raise capital for Scratchy for the Dow sometime in June, hopefully. Also, it will help with the price of drip. 
as I want to set up a system for providing capital for the garden, I will investigate into investing in some master nodes that are either full or shared. I will provide more information on this in the future. So yeah, uh, right now I have an automatic approach with my strategy to fund my drip faucet. Uh, and that strategy involves the uh, where I take, you know, take 50% from the garden, put it into the farms, and then take the other 50% and putting it back into the uh, garden here. Now, the 50% that's going to the farm, what I do is, at first, initially, um, I was doing a once a month strategy, typically the last day of the month, where I would take 25% from the drip BUSD LP farm. I would split that LP, send it to the faucet on that drip, and then buy more drip with the BUSD. Um, that was my automatic approach to adding more drip into my faucet. But now, like I said, I don't have an automatic approach as far as funding my garden. So that's why I wanna go ahead and start looking into shared and full master nodes. And like I said, I'll talk about that in, in a future video not today in this video here so uh, going to the drip faucet here show you what I got there so I have 2,236 drip deposited which is currently currently around $796.39 I got four available but oh, I compounded earlier this morning um, max payout Currently is eight thousand one hundred sixty-four. As you can see with the drip forecast, I make around seven dollars and ninety-six dollars, seven dollars ninety-six uh, cents per day. Uh, as far as my strategy with this here, you know, um, in the past month um, I was doing a five and two strategy, but I'm just now I'm just not even gonna touch this as far as like claiming right now. I'm just gonna DCA and compound it to max payout. You know. Uh, just to see you know what would prices look like um, when that time comes as you can see I'll hit max payout within the next 274 days now this is gonna be a little bit faster with the additional DCA and compounder that I you know do within the next you know several weeks you know but as of right now um, it's gonna take me 12 days April 22nd to reach 2500 drip and 3000 in the next 32 days so on and so on forth so yeah like I said I'm not going to um, claim I think the only time I'm probably gonna claim is just just in case if I need to if I need some more gas fees but other than that I don't have no plan on claiming and selling right now at least until I hit my first max wallet you know uh, there's no really no reason to so hopefully um, forex shark can deliver on this you know and uh, hopefully we'll have some you know hard press release dates later this week uh, with the future AMA that's coming this week so hopefully now let's go to the animal farm here real quick now as far as the animal farm I just decided to whatever uh, liquidity that I had in my farms I just went ahead and pulled everything out except for the drip BUSD um, like I said that's pretty much the only thing that I'm going to have in here on the animal farm currently until I hit max wallet I think that only makes sense you know and like I said I was using this to you know uh, withdraw once a month at the end of each month to split it to add more to my drip faucet I'm just thinking about just changing that to a weekly thing where I just take the 25% of the withdrawn drip BUSD split it and then just adding it back into the faucet I think I'm about doing this maybe like every Sunday I'll start in this Sunday actually just to you know compound a little bit faster with my faucet and potentially buy drip at a cheaper price because hopefully when uh, DDD is 
you know, the, the release date is announced and hopefully the utility launched on time, then we could assume we could safely assume that the price of drip is going to go up. So yeah. But uh that's just what I'm doing currently in Animal Farm. I have no plans on adding thing, anything right now, especially with the low um the low emission rates between the uh dogs and pigs. So yeah, this is the only thing I'm participating in. And even with the dog pound, I had a couple maxed out um stakes that I already taken out and I've sold. Uh both of those were at eighty four percent tax reduction. So yeah, I just took that, sold it for BUSD and I converted that BUSD into BNB. It wasn't enough to really even do anything, so I just decided just to use it for gas fees. So so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. What I'm doing, you know, I'm still compounding. I'm still DCN. Um, like I said, I'm going to add more into my garden position later this week, and on this upcoming Sunday, I'm going to take 25% of whatever is in my drip BUSD LP farm, split that, and just you know, pretty much attain more drip in my drip faucet. So guys, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, please leave any comment under this video here. And guys, with that said, I am out. You guys have a blessed week. I'll talk to you later. Peace.